Owl save has been copied. Eee! Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. So in the last parts, we found out that is not the correct way to go at all. <laughs> Instead, we've actually got to go this way, but... Sure would be nice to, you know, get that owl save before you do that in case it freezes, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, actually, I should probably speed this along by goroning it up thusly and then go zoo wee Here we go! Oh! It's just <laughs> rock out of nowhere! That's okay. No big deal whatsoever. I can go all the way over here and there we go. Can I climb up here as a Goron? Oh, no, I cannot. Oh shoot, that's right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Ah, whatever. <laughs> I got double health, you suckers. <laughs> uh, so, I thought there was a, a circle of rocks around that rock. I'll, I'll take a look-see around there with the lens of truth in, uh, in a little bit later on. Let's just put it that way. It's not an important item to get at this moment in time anyway. So, yeah. So, there's these uh, gravestones here with lanterns on top of them. And look, look at that! It's down for the gravekeeper! He's like, I am down for the gravekeeper who watches over this graveyard. My face is frightening, but I'm not a bad person. All the graves here belong to the family members of the King of Akana Castle, a place that lies beyond the mountains. Even nowadays, the ghosts come out at night. It is a frightening graveyard. And not that frightening in all honesty. <laughs> Let's just take a look at the graves, though. A piece that heals the wounded soul rests here. One can, who can possess eyes and can see the truth arrives. The far below shall awaken. You mean the eye of truth? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Actually, that is not the solution, but it might be inside the grave. The breed soldier from Akana rests here. Oh, no, no, I don't know. I want to roll. There we go. Just give it a little peeksy at all these graves here. A vessel that holds wandering spirits rests here. Oh, I, bad bat, out of my way. <laughs> so, <laughs> a little copy pasta, and you'll notice that there's these uh, floating lantern giblets up and around here. You're like, oh, you didn't shoot them, you can get stuff out. Look at that, it's magical. <laughs> Forgot to mention that for a second, but we are okay, don't worry. And uh, you're gonna see there's not really much going on here, at least it doesn't seem like it. There's this mm, kind of dead skeleton hanging out over there. Uh, is this one of those? Uh, no, I thought it was one of Wow, that's a lot of hearts. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be one of those ones that run all over the place, but I think there's only three of those in the game if I recall correctly. The door is locked, so no one must be home. Aw, oh, man. Aw, oh, man. He who awaken me, battle me, then I shall extinguish the furious flame. Awaken, huh? Awaken, huh? We'll get that out. Um, get that out. Actually, I probably should have this out, too. Because I can use that to catch up at places. And just a reminder to myself, up left, up left, A right, A. Okay... Oh shoot. Oh no no! What? Okay, there we go. I must have been just miss sliding my finger on the powers that be of the sea stick. Then he's gonna pop up alive and destroy everything! He's like... Chase after me, mortal! Chase after me, and what you can do to slow him down here is just shoot him with an arrow like that. <laughs> and just want to kind of do that really quick. Shoot him with another arrow to catch up with them. Hurry, hurry, hurry! Go, go, go! When you when you get close enough to him, you'll be able to attack him, and then he'll start actually battling you. This is someone that will hear soon enough. So it's basically just like a yeah, it's like a stall child, only it's really big. <laughs> So, oh, oh, I guess he can get over my shield. So maybe he is a little bit different. But it doesn't work all the time when you hit my shield. <laughs> oh, no, you don't. Ooh! Oh, yeah, that's right. You can do that. I thought you were just jumping behind me or something like that. But no, no, no. You were not. You were jumping on top of me. That makes a difference. <laughs> ah, there we go. I win. And he's like, wait! 
It is my loss. Sheathe your weapon. This is Captain Kita, by the way. And now we appear all the way around the end here. This is it, this whole path loops around. I'll show you that in a minute. I commanded the Ikana army of Ikana Kingdom atop the hill. I am called Skull Kita. <laughs> Since being shamed by loss in a battle within my kingdom, I have waited here for one to come and awaken my soul. A young swordsman who has awakened and deftly defeated me. I shall rely on your power to fulfill my requests. I ask you to take my soul, which rests in the fiercely burning flame, and convey my words to my men, who, even in death, remain loyal to me. In that chest, we need our long shot. <laughs> our hook shot. Tell them the war has ended. Will do. And I shall be able to drift quietly into sleep. Captain, sir! May I take leave, sir? You may. Have a nice nap. You know, until I reset time and stuff like that. Oh god, the dizzying effect. Why? <laughs> what was the point of that? Come on, Link. Just give him the send-off. Yes. <laughs> yes, sir! And he's gone! <laughs> and the fire and flames are gone. And hook shots. So I guess I didn't need my Goron mask after all. <laughs> I was able to do it just nicely with the powers of my arrows. And there we go. Just kind of open this up and we get a new mask well it's actually more of a hat really but they're called masks it's the captain's hat you wear the C button the ghosts of a hundred soldiers swear allegiance to this symbol of authority and what do we use this for well you'll find out soon enough let's just do that and that I guess I'll, I'll do a little run through around this track basically anytime that you see those little see these things on the side here yeah they're like borders but I was able to get him before he past the second border here but yeah there's a, a couple like little checkpoints that you battle his soldiers along the way and it's all basically blank and then you end up over here so this is like the end of the track but since I beat him so early he didn't even have a chance at making it here but if he would have we would have lost it and we would have had the reset time and did this all over again it's not that big of a deal or anything like that because it's pretty easy to get back here and redo this puzzle and stuff but yeah now what I'm gonna do here is move time forward because remember we heard that the ghosts and stuff appear at night well there's this ghosts that pop over at various gravestones depending on the time I should say the time depending on the uh, yeah see they're they're over they're hanging out over here now and let's just kind of take this off here now that we got the the captain's mask here which you know, it, it, it looks like it makes us a skeleton, but it really doesn't. But it fools these guys, so... Huh? Oh, Captain! Excuse me, sir! Uh... Squad leader's in front of that grave over there, sir! <laughs> uh, I can't talk to you at all. Really? Okay, that's interesting. Uh, so yeah, those, there's those three that are hanging out around that grave. They go by different graves each day. Huh? Ah, Captain, sir! Excuse me, sir! Everyone, give the Captain your attention! Everyone is like, we haven't seen you in some time, Captain, sir! As per your order, sir, we've been guarding these graves closely! We have all been expecting your next order, sir! I love the way that their, their mouths move. Look at that, just like... What shall we do? Open the grave, please! If you, if you collect guard, they'll just keep circling around it. Yes, sir! Everyone, follow me! And they, t they destroy the grave. They don't move it. They demolish it. And then they go in it. So yeah, I know. It, that's, it seems like it's kind of dishonoring the dead. But it's okay. They're, they're, they're dead too. <laughs> so there's this over here. That's a, that's a different way from a, through a different grave. So let's just put it that way. Let's just open these up and see what we get. Hearts, arrows, blah 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 Lots of bad bats. Everyone, over here! Fly to me! Fly to me! <laughs> this is much faster than trying to shoot them with arrows or something. Yeah! Even though I take a little damage, it's still, still much faster. I have double health, you suckers! <laughs>
Hey, you. You're the only one left. Come back here. Ah! You got me. <laughs> Alright, this makes the chest appear out of nowhere. And then we open the said chest and we get a prize. It's a purple groupie. Happy days. And we gotta light all those torches, obviously. So let's get this out. And uh, where should I stand here? Probably like maybe... Yeah, because there's, yeah, there's like a couple torches, and there's a torch over there, like, meh, maybe right in the middle will do. That's just not over... Oh, I don't have magic. Oh, I used it when I was Goron rolling. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, I gotta get some magics. <laughs> will I be able to get magics from these respawning pots? No. No. So let's uh, go back up here and cut some grass or something, I suppose. <laughs> How about this grass? This, this might do. Ah, oh, there we go. That's, that's good enough, probably. Uh, actually, I'm not sure. Let's just uh, kind of peek see around here. Maybe there's going to be uh, arrows. Uh, that might not be good enough. <laughs> uh, hey, you in the tree. I can talk to you, too. I forgot about you, huh? Oh, Captain, excuse me, sir. I'm just just swinging away here. The squad leader is in front of that grave. No, it's not. I mean, it's gone now. <laughs> I, I mean, I guess maybe it was over there, and you just haven't been updated on the situation, but okay. <laughs> oh, well, I can't believe I used my magic up gore on rolling, of all things. I hope the- yeah, the bats aren't back. I was gonna say, I hope they aren't back, because that could be very sucky. This doesn't use all that much magic, so it should be fine, as long as I'm accurate enough. And... that will do. Did you see the- the gate go up above the door when the door opened. <laughs> Polish! <laughs> um, just take a look, see around here just because, and go inside here. Oh no! Oh no! Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! What is this? What is this? Could it be like the armor at the curiosity shop? Well, yes it is actually. <laughs> it is an iron knuckle. And little fun fact, because they reused the model from Ocarina of Time, our Garuda girl I mean Gerudo girlfriend is still inside the armor, you know, in the model. But it's not canon. <laughs> okay, so this is a pretty aggressive enemy in this game. Just gotta kinda be careful with that. It's it's a lot harder in Majora's Mask than it is in uh, Ocarina of Time. Yeah, you just want to bait it out, and then it's going to get faster. Oh! I'm not out targeting. There we go. Yeah, take that. Yeah, no, you don't. Uh, Ha-ha! But it's still a pretty easy enemy. Don't get me wrong. If you don't have double health, though, it'll do like three hearts worth of damage, which is a lot. But it's still pretty easy to defeat him. And this is the thing we need to progress in the game. Look at that! Oh, yes! Well, are you the one who freed my soul? Kinda. Uh, maybe. Oh, hello there. Hmm? I serve the Akana Royal Family! I'm the composer called Flat! Obviously a reference to the musical note, Flat. The songs connected to the royal family that remain here were all composed by my brother and I. Oh, Sharp, my dear brother. Get it, Sharp and Flat. Sharp is another musical note. He, he sold his soul to the devil and was the one who locked me in here. You who do not fear the dead, learn well the song that is inscribed behind me. And if you ever meet my brother, I'd like you to inform him. The thousand years of raindrops summoned by my song are my tears. <laughs> the thunder that strikes the earth is my anger. I have made a request. Eh, eh, that was kind of a... Kind of something, I gotta say. But, you know, since Link can't talk, we're gonna kind of have issues. So let's just, uh... Let's just instead look at this grave and maybe we can get a song that'll teach Sharp something. The thousand years of raindrops summoned by my song and my tears. Da -da 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 -da. We've seen that before. Oh, there's notes in there. It's kind of blurry, but that's okay. We can still read it. Here is written the song that shall cleanse this cursed black soul. Oh yeah, you know that song. It's the song of storms from Ocarina of Time. 
Yeah! Fast thumb movements for the win! <laughs> Woo! A new song for the win! Victory is mine-ish! It's the song of storms. This melody that you've heard before is the turbulent tune that blows curses away! Got anything else to say, Mr. Gravestone? Probably not. Or Mrs. Gravestone, I don't know. I pro I'm, I'm not exactly sure about that. <laughs> Um, now what I'd like to do is kind of, you know, go back out of here and then save my game and end off the part, you know, just for the sake of safety, because I made some progress here, so I'd like to get a nice safe owl save, uh, if you don't mind, oh, and by the way, down is death, just, just like to show you this here really quick, oh, look at that, <laughs> oh, it, puts, it poops me back there, I thought it was gonna poop me back over at the, uh, the light over there, but I guess the door technically was the last... Um, door that I went through, I mean the last place that I went through, so yeah, I, I guess that makes sense. Now we are going to... Oh! <laughs> oh, 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 eh, 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 there we go! <laughs> and fly over to a kind of canyon, just to, just to kind of, you know, save our game. <laughs> I, I trust nothing in this game. Nothing. <laughs> and here we are. I'll explore the other two gravestones in the next part. So with that, I'm ending off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next parts. <sighs> Checkpoint. <laughs>